Hi there, Mike Jacoby here with Point Grey's top three tips for building a multi-giggy camera application. Our first tip may sound like an obvious one, but it's an important one. Always calculate your bandwidth requirements before anything. There are a couple of things to keep in mind. First off, even though Gigabit Ethernet has a bandwidth limit of 125 megabytes per second, there is always going to be overhead in the data that reduces this maximum limit. To reduce the chances of drop frames, it's safer to assume a bandwidth limit closer to 110 or 100 megabytes per second. Another thing to keep in mind during your calculations is your pixel format choice. A pixel format of, say, Mono 16 is going to use up twice as much bandwidth as Mono 8, so be mindful of these two things when doing your calculations. Tip number two, choose geeky PoE cameras if you can. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet, and allows you to send data and power your camera through your existing Ethernet cables. Any old Cat5 or Cat6 cable will work. You don't need any extra power cables or power adapters. While you will need either a PoE-enabled network interface card or a PoE switch, in almost all cases, PoE is more cost-effective by reducing installation time and lowering maintenance costs. Now, there might be some cases where you don't need PoE. Maybe you already have a non-POE infrastructure already set up. Either way, Point Grey has you covered as we offer both non-POE and POE enabled cameras. And finally, tip number three. To maximize bandwidth, connect your cameras directly to your network interface cards. When you connect your camera directly to the interface card, you give each camera the full gigabit bandwidth to work with. Plus, you eliminate almost all latency. If you connect them to a switch, all cameras connected to that switch will ultimately have to share the single gigabit connection between the switch and the computer. So to recap, always do your bandwidth calculations before anything. Choose Gigi PoE cameras and connect your cameras directly to the network interface card. There you have it, our top three tips for building a multi-gigi camera application. Let us know if you found this useful, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us or visit our website at www.ptgray.com. Thanks for watching.